Today we have a brand new Sharp LED TV which was damaged during shipping. As you can see, original power cord, remote, papers, battery. You can see TV stand. As you can see, the LCD screen of this Sharp TV is broken. There's impact over here. And uh, the TV itself is brand new. Only the screen is broken. So all the parts inside are going to be new. And uh, we're going to take it apart and see how the inside of this TV looks. Now to the fun part. What you're going to need for this part is a drill if you want to be fast with the Phillips head. Um, and an extra screwdriver, the Phillips head that's long, just in case there is a screw uh, that you can't uh, reach with this length. Um, and then you're going to take everything apart. Uh, as you can see, there's screws over here, here, and it's sort of just this, this portion that we need to take off. This side, you don't really need to take off. So it's, it's going to be this part to take off, which makes the job a lot easier. Um, and we're going to start doing that right now. Okay, let's start. There's one over here. There's going to be one over here. One over here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. There's going to be one over here. Over here. One over here. As you guys can see, the screws are coming out fairly easily. Which will make your job easier. If you do feel like it does not, it's not coming off, um, don't force it because you might mess up the screw then it's going to get harder. If for some reason it's not coming off, it might be that the screw is small, so you might need a smaller head. Or if it's uh, if it's big, you might need a bigger head. So just uh, don't force anything. If you see something's not coming off, uh, take a second look at it and uh, try to do it the right way the first time. Okay, this. Mm -hmm. yeah. You need to take this off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one's. There's four of them, or for the stand. So you're not going to need to change anything else. And then over here, this is if you want to mount it on your wall, those four. So you're not going to have any screws over here. You're not going to have any screws over here and over here. Okay. Let's see if it's coming off. Probably didn't have clips, but you could hear it. Mm -hmm. Almost. Just want to be careful. We don't want to break anything. See? You see, this screw. Okay. Over here we have a power supply unit. This is the board that's going to receive the power and it's going to transfer it to two different places. The first place it's going to transfer is to your LED screen which is going to help it light up. The second is going to be your uh, main board which is going to help get the information from uh, an HDMI cable for instance and this uh, information once it gets it from the HDMI cable it's going to transfer it to your TCOM board which is going to do it through this uh, uh, cable called the LVDS cable it goes all the way over here and this is your TCOM board if you want to see it fully you probably you have to take this cover off but this cable is connected directly to your uh, LED screen 
and what it does is it when the main board gets it information it's not uh, in a language that your uh, screen can read so what this board does is it gets it it translates it and it directs it to your um, LED screen a lot of times when you have picture issues this is the board that goes bad and even the LVDS cable sometimes goes bad so this is something you have to look out for if you have uh, some picture problems um, your power your power supply unit deals with your power so if you have no uh, LED in the front of your TV it's completely dead um, it's most likely going to be your power supply if your HDMI is not working or it's not turning on but you see some LED in front of the TV uh, lighting up it's, it's most probably going to be your main board um, it could be your uh, 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 screen too but in most cases it's going to be your main board um, you have your keypad over here and then um, you're going to have your IR sensor which is the board that helps you well it, it functions as the board that receives the information from your remote and uh, lets you switch through channels um, so pretty much this is how the inside of a sharp LED TV looks like most of the TVs nowadays look like this and I would have to say this one has more boards than some of some of the other ones for instance some RCA's um, Sanyo's they only have one board um, this one I would say it's, it's a good TV because it has uh, more boards um, it could give you a better picture and um, if something goes bad uh, at least you don't have it where your TCOM board is attached to your panel so if your TCOM board goes bad you have to buy a new TV because it's too expensive to buy a panel for this TV you could just change this TCOM board for 40 bucks and uh, have a working TV again um, so this is a good TV I would recommend it definitely um, and as you can see uh, these parts are brand new parts um, they work you turn the TV on um, you test it and uh, there's probably less than uh, 10 minutes of hours put on this TV so you have pretty much brand new parts just a bad screen um, and then when you sell these parts you're giving customers uh, almost brand new parts for uh, more than half the price as the uh, manufacturers would sell it for and this is the final result one TCOM board main board power supply brand new TV stand IR sensor keypad LVDS cable remote control power cord and some batteries